In this course, we'll be covering the book of Genesis and some of the most famous stories that, that most people know. And we'll be keeping an eye on particular uh, literary qualities of the text itself. The first story that we'll be covering will be the creation of Adam and Eve and their consequent expulsion from the Garden of Eden. Before we begin in the narrative proper, I think it's important to understand kind of the various relationships that we'll see, not just in the opening uh, story of Genesis, uh, but in many ways, uh, these relationships that will come to dominate throughout uh, the entire narrative. And I think what's most fascinating when we start looking at this kind of four-part relationship is we want to ask, we want to start to ask about what is the intersection between the relationship between God and human beings and human beings and human beings. More to the point, I want to ask, is what is the way in which perhaps the face of God shows up there in the human-to-human -human relationship? We're told in Genesis chapter 1, 26, that God has made man in his image and by his likeness has he made him. Then it's the tension between the two, the tension between the earthly and the divine that comes to, uh, comes to define uh, man's interaction with other humans and the divine throughout the book. The original transgression is going to throw a wrench into the system here of what this divine human relationship looks like. And the Lord God commanded the human, saying, From every fruit of the garden you may surely eat, but from the tree of knowledge, good and evil, you shall not eat. And the Lord God said, It is not good for the human to be alone. For the first time, if you go back to Genesis chapter 1, God repeatedly says, And it was good, and it was good, and it was good. But now we are going to get a key insight with regards to the human and really what it means to be a human. Because for the first time we are told so, uh, that something is not good. And it is not good that man is alone. So there are two things going on here. One, he's creating the animals precisely as he creates, as he creates the human, that is to say from the soil. But of course, we're, we're told after all of this, there was no sustainer found for the human in these animals. 